what's up everybody i'm actually going to start off today doing something a tad bit different but i want to start off with thanking my donors for helping me grow helping me get this content out every day with your donations um i've gotten two more cameras i've gotten two tripods i've upgraded the software that i'm using we're still growing getting to where we need to get to and i appreciate each and every one of you now today i want to go on with as you know one of my favorite shows is in contempt and this week they had a thing where they were talking about police officers and their interrogations and how to make sure that the interrogation itself was conducted in a constitutional manner and one of those they used the case of people v huntley 15 it's a new york supreme court case from 1965. now i generally like to look up uh, look up cases from these tv shows just to see what they're all about and the case that they were actually mirroring was jackson v deno 378 us 368 and basically it's a part of due process whenever they violate due process again it violates their fiduciary duty and when they violate their fiduciary duty it is a federal law violation so they are also liable so even whenever they're asking for a confession even whenever they are going in and asking a whole bunch of unnecessary questions that are or can be construed as leading questions which they're soliciting something for or to complete their investigation and then i actually look at police work in certain aspects as science projects because they go into it with the hypothesis they go in it with an idea of what the end result is and then what they do they go and piece together evidence or things that they believe are evidence and create their hypo their solution now is it proven when you look at the fact that 67 percent of all death row inmates that have been released they've been released from faulty police work where they're not looking for criminals they're looking to close the case and that's why you have to hold them to a higher standard because two out of every three decisions they make on a whole as a collective are wrong because the system is not about the truth it's about money and even when you weren't sitting there and you're talking to them it is very important to exercise your right to remain silent if they don't have a reason to be there they cannot give any lawful commands or lawful orders which they love to you i'm giving you a lawful order what makes it lawful if you have no reason to be there and i don't know is not sufficient for probable cause or to getting a warrant or to getting anything you do not have to follow those instructions and believe they're lawful just because they said they are because what it then becomes is a show of authority stop which is a breach of their fiduciary duty because a show of authority stop is a fourth amendment violation so keeping that in mind even interrogations can be examined through jackson v Deno. so keep that in mind and always if you don't know shut up exercise your right to remain silent because they will twist it and use it against you until next time